Hello there, and welcome back to this let's play of Spelunky. So we will be doing the daily challenge of November 17th. It's just my microphone here a little bit. There we go. And... We're ready to go. So far, so... Looking like it always is. I want to remember not to use this part just because I saw that there was an error trap over on the left side. Oh, there's the part here as well, actually, so I guess I can just use that one. That's probably one of the weirder ways to kill a spider using a sapphire. So down we go. Uh, crates, which I can definitely go to and which I definitely will go to. Just a pot here again. There's Monty who will also make sure to get, of course. I just want to get want to get this gold first. Oh, could I almost hit Monty if not for the spider whip there? All right. So lots of stuff happening on this floor. <clears throat> Definitely looking very good so far. Lots of stuff in the sense that there's lots of stuff we can do. Almost the entire floor is um, readily open and available to us. Which is not often the case. Usually there's at least one area that's um, like walled off. Also means that we're getting a ton of gold already. Um... So let's just get this. Okay, there is actually a small area that's walled off right there. All right, 16,000 on the first floor is really good. Also, we have some more ropes and we're up to five health. <clears throat> oh, this is unfortunate. Ah. <laughs> okay, so you, you can whip arrows. But I apparently can't. Uh, so let's see. Get rid of the shopkeeper. And we want to probably make our way over to this altar eventually. But let me just make sure first that I can... Um, that I can get Monty over there with me. Hmm. Yeah. I feel kind of stupid for wasting all of that health just before. Okay, Monty's over on the left side somewhere. He's right here, actually. Um, how do I want to make this happen? I've got plenty of ropes, so I should really just use some of those. And if I place a bomb here, that should do the trick. Up we go. Come on. We'll probably see the uh, ghost eventually on this map. That's what I'm guessing. One thing I should get used to about climbing gloves is to not walk too fast off, um, off, of, ed off of ledges. Because then you actually won't stick to the walls. <clears throat> that just takes a little bit of getting used to for me. Alright. We get paste. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I mean, paste is a necessity at some point during every good run. But... Also, you tend to get it anyway, either by means of a spider, of course, or uh, through the black market. So, yeah. And no reasoning going over here. It seems oh, there is actually an extra pot, so why don't we just check if there is anything in that. And there is actually a ruby, so good thing we did. <clears throat> we did see the ghost, so I wasn't even lying before either. Alright, so what do we have here? K 
cape. I want a cape. Um, so how should we go about doing this? I want to make a hole for him to fall down into. Um, oh, that was stupid. Oh, it worked though. Why did that blow up so fast? Does it always do that? Um, when you're... No! <laughs> How did he make that jump? Oh. <sighs> it's a good thing that I'm not streaming this, because if this was a Splunky Death Roulette, in case you guys know about that, uh, you could just like go for shopkeepers the entire time and you wouldn't be wrong. Alright, so... <laughs> that was fairly unimpressive. What's the daily? Or what's the leader? Both looking like nobody's over a million yet, but it's also fairly early in the morning. A lot of people made it to hell though, and I'm gonna guess that Kenneth here actually had a plasma cannon to play around with. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode. <laughs> yet another short one. I guess I'll follow it up with um, an ordinary run as well on YouTube. So for now, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you some other time.